I'm Samantha Ann Lee, bodybuilding.com and fitness athlete, and today I'm going to take you through a killer outdoor track workout. This is a functional workout that'll burn tons of calories and focus on speed, strength, and conditioning. Today's workout is broken up into four different sections. We're going to start with a warm up, then do plyometrics, sprints, and end with bleachers. I love workouts like this because I used to run track. But most of all, I love breaking up my normal routine, getting out of the gym and enjoying the nice weather outside. People ask me all the time what I do to work my lower body and I really recommend workouts just like this. All right, so let's get started with our warm up. So the warm up has five different parts. We're gonna start by jogging around the track twice at just a moderate pace to get our blood pumping. Then we're going to do some functional stretching, starting with butt kick runs, then go into knee hugs, then inch worms, and then we're going to finish up the warm up with walking lunges with a twist. For all of the active stretches, we're going to be covering a distance of about 25 meters, which is a fourth of the 100 meter marks. We're going to start with the butt kick run, and for this, you don't have to worry about going fast, just drop slowly down and get a stretch going in your quads. After you're finished with the 25 meters, turn right around and start with your knee hugs. For these, go ahead and take your time again and just pull your knee in close to your chest. These will be really stretching out your hips and your glutes. Then we'll go right into the inchworm. For these, you're gonna bend over, walk your hands out into a plank position and then walk your feet back to your hands. Go ahead and take a second to pause at the top and really stretch your hamstrings. We're gonna finish off the warm up with walking lunges with a twist. For these, go ahead and rest your knee as you twist and really feel the twist in your core. Take a wide step out into a lunge position and at the bottom of the lunge, twist your torso towards your leg to really stretch your core. Now that we're all warmed up, we're gonna start with our plyos. Plyometrics are really great for lower body development explosiveness, and speed. For the plyos, we're gonna be doing three exercises. We'll be doing high jumps, long jumps, and tuck jumps. And then we'll be repeating that three times. For the high jumps and long jumps, we'll be covering a distance of about 25 meters. As you're doing the high jumps, really focus on jumping high and not jumping out. You'll be jumping off of one leg and really use the opposite leg to drive your knee and your hands upward so that it helps you get that height. Again, your goal here is really just to jump as high as you can. Once you get to the end of your 25 meters, you're gonna turn right around and start your long jumps. Unlike the high jumps, with these, we're really trying to cover length and not height. So make sure you're jumping out and not up. With these, really use your arms to help you get that momentum and drive you forward and as you land, try to roll through your heel to your toe. Once you finish your long jumps, we're gonna go straight into doing 20 tuck jumps. For the tuck jumps, you'll be jumping as high as you can, bringing your knees to your chest. After you finish up your tuck jumps, catch your breath and then perform the plyometrics two more rounds. After the plyometrics, we're moving straight into sprints. For the sprints, we're going to be progressing from a 50% sprint to a 100% sprint. We're going to do this using three different progressions. We're gonna start off by doing a 50 meter sprint at 50% of your full sprint speed. Then we'll move into doing a 50 meter sprint as fast as you can at 100% speed for two rounds. We'll end off by doing a 100 meter sprint at 100% speed, and then we'll finish that off with a cool down of a 100 meter jog for two rounds. Between sprints, go ahead and take the minimum amount of time you need to recover in order to give your next sprint your all. Sprints are not only fun, but they're also a great way to burn a ton of calories in a short amount of time and to build a really great booty.
Now we're moving on to the bleacher part of the workout. This portion of the workout has six exercises. We're going to start with bench sprints. Then we're moving into stair lunge, climb with kickback. Next, stair hops. Then bleacher squat climb to the left. Then bench sprints again. And finishing it off with bleacher squat climbs to the right. Ideally, you'll perform this workout somewhere at a stadium that has at least 30 meters of bleachers. If you have access to a stadium like this, you'll do this circuit twice. But if you don't have access to a stadium with a bunch of stairs, any local track with a few stairs will work. All you need to do is increase the number of rounds you're doing. Today, we'll be doing five rounds. For bench sprints, we're going to be doing each leg 10 times for a total of 20 reps. As you perform these, make sure that you're driving your weight through your hill and jumping as high as you can as you alternate legs. As you perform these, just lunge as low as the bleachers will allow you to, and then kick back and really squeeze your glutes at the top. For the stair hops, you wanna start by squatting down, then jump up to the next stair and end in a squat. After the stair hops, we're moving into a bleacher squat climb to the left. As you do these, even though one of your feet will be higher, keep your weight in the middle and then transfer your weight to the higher foot as you step up. Once again with these, we'll be keeping your weight in your heels, really targeting your glutes and hamstrings. Then we'll immediately go into another 20 reps of bench sprints. And now we'll finish it off with bleacher squat climbs on the right. The exact same thing that we did on the left, only now we're doing it the opposite direction. Don't feel like you have to be a track star to do these workouts. If this is new to you, just take your time, scale it back, and each time you do this workout, you'll get better and better. This is a great workout to switch out with your regular leg day, or you can even add it to your regular routine as a cardio day. The full breakdown for this workout is on the page below here at bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me, you can find me on my body space, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And for more free articles and videos like this, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.